Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker and welcome back to another episode of Caveman to Cosmos. You may notice that the screen is a little blurry. Well, okay, that's why. But I also realize I've been recording this freaking game in 720p maybe the whole time that I've been playing it. Which is a real bummer, because that's totally not necessary. We're going to have it a little bit sharper from here on out, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, if you're still here, well, you know, good on you. You stuck through it, and uh, things are brighter for the future. Speaking of the future, we are protecting ourselves, right, yeah. <laughs> New recording session, so as usual, of course, I'm a little, a little foggy on my general overarching strategies, as well as the minutia. But yeah, I realized, I was like, you know what, we got, we have so many, these guys are just everywhere. These freaking Neanderthal obsidian swordsmen, pretty scary. I only have, let's say five defenders, six, seven, okay, I've got some. It's not that many though. One concerted attack from a stack, two stacks coming in here, I don't know, we might, we might not be able to survive it. So I said, okay, we're going to be building that up a little bit. Over here, also, uh, okay, not very well defended. Um, but much less, much less frightening over here. Can I do a focal of the horse? No, I'm saving so I can actually have a horse camp or something uh, eventually. Um, I wish there was a way to unselect these units. Um, I can select you. Go kill Bald Eagle. Yeah, great. So we'll, we'll start ticking along. Um, probably I will, you know, start skipping ahead shortly. I probably could should have gone and killed that thing, shouldn't I? Uh, Y'all just stay there. Did I get attacked by somebody? I'm not sure. Um, we are in the lead. We have the strongest army as well. We can also see for some people where they're going. Ceremony Burial, not a tech that we have. We just go back and fortify. Uh, my trackers are hunting and doing their things. I'm fine with that. I I'm happy for them to be out there. Uh, I don't care enough to escort them back. I'm sorry, a revolt. Why, why the revolt? Because I'm in a warning status. I mean, it's only for one turn if I'm able to see that. Yeah, only one turn. Yeah, you know, I'm not entirely sure why they're freaking out like this consistently. So, dude, red foxes. I thought it would tell me what I could do with them when I bring them home, but whatever. I guess I don't care that much. Um, making some more military units. You know, at some point, like, how do you maintain territorial integrity? I, I know I would love to have some gathering camps. I would love to have some like um, improvements out there. But I just can't seem to hold on to them. Like, taking these guys out, they are pretty beat up. Yeah, whatever. Give me some culture. I guess I don't care. They are pretty beat up. Forest fire in Washington, D.C.? Okay. Or close to Washington, D.C., sure, why not? Yeah, whatever. Just go and boost the culture and science of Beijing. When this Axeman is done... I don't get double upgrades anymore. Right, like, taking this group out... And just kind of like going and maybe challenging them in terrain that uh, is not so defensible. But this is also not so defensible. That's fine. I think we're going to be okay over here. You just stay fortified. We can always just move back if we want. That's another hunter. Um, give me more forest stuff. And go back to automated hunt, please. See, these guys are definitely surviving. Much better. There are no
I mean, they would get murdered by the athlete lists, right? How come... There we go. Yeah, we can take some attacks. I will. Oh yeah, I will. Oh heck yeah. Oh heck yeah. It's a lot of not so great. I think the Adelaide lists are gonna do even worse. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's let's move up. Let's let's make sure that we can uh, jump on these guys. All right. Looks like I am able to not see the tech that I discover for some weird reason. Okay, um, but we did, however, unlock. Is it economic? All right, from subsistence to barter. We gain a little bit more money from reduced maintenance costs by number of cities, a little bit of food, commerce, and hammers in all cities, a little bit more hammers uh, from trade routes, all right. We gain a little bit of gold hammers, uh, science just everywhere. Okay, I mean, you know, it's a pretty pretty obvious choice here. Usually in the beginning, like, you know, you don't really just, just take what you get. It does cost a little bit of money. Um, all right, you have gotten beef here. As have you. I'll take the 85. Give me more melee attack. Oh, yes. And uh, we've, we've done it. We've cleared them out. Wow. Are we just getting... I mean, I know they take like a little bit of damage when they're next to our city, so maybe that's why they weren't at maximum strength. I feel much better, and I think we are. Do I have um, some kind of camp here? No. I think we're just going to say, hey. I don't think I need that many troops. I'll take another Obsidian Axeman. All right. Wow, that went, uh, that went really nice. I'm very, very pleased with that situation. Uh, you're also stronger. Yeah, go murder, the, murder that guy. Thank you very much. Um, whatever. Culture and science is fine. Beijing continues working on its production. Everybody else will just, you know, end up fortifying here. A whole bunch of slingers with a defense bonus of 95%. Doesn't seem great. Um, I probably will actually want a stone tools workshop somewhere. I can't actually domesticate anything. I mean, I guess I can get the grapes again. I also wanted to get a road going out there. Now that I think about it, uh, just take the forest worker. We'll probably wait for my troops to heal up, I think, before we go back out. But I think we will be going back out, killing this guy and then marching out, building a road to reconnect our cities. I think we are connected by rivers or something. We decided to come here. I guess that's fine. I don't think I want to go and deal with that. Uh, you, you attacked my city. That probably wasn't the best choice. Fire has destroyed a building. I wish you would just tell me the damn building that was destroyed. You killed my butchery. You know, whatever, that's fine. Um, let's see. When the Atlas list is done, all right, now I'm gonna say, yeah, you're, you're just on city defense, but I'm gonna take out a pack of you. And you. And I'm going to say, go build me a road out in this direction, please. 
All right. Now I think I feel like okay, we can we can start pausing it and, and jumping ahead. So you know, cuts incoming. Now that's one thing that we kind of forgot to do is that uh, we have we got barter. Reveals a whole bunch of stuff. We can make caravan caravans. Can we actually make caravans? No. Not yet. Fine stoneware carvers. If we wanted to do something like that, I don't think we do. But um. Yeah, our fruit gathering camps give a little bit more commerce, so this, you know, we will put the grape gathering, I guess, down now. Improve our commerce just a tiny bit. Hey, we do have food merchants. And supply merchants. So I think this lets you, like, send food and hammers to other cities. Um, which can be pretty, pretty useful to, like, jumpstart a location. Like, say we just wanted our capital to grow. We can just divert resources, basically, from here over to there our scout is still hard at work after withdrawing yeah you you found most of the continent i would say actually still a huge huge amount of land that you haven't discovered is it just land that's occupied nope nope lots of work for you to still do this is a big continent this is a very very big continent all right, we've finished our kind of military buildup over here. We can start a golden age. That doesn't seem right. Let's go take a look into our city and see how we're doing. Disease is great. Crime is reasonable. Everything else seems okay. Um, what kind of buildings? Yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff we've unlocked. Tree platforms. Palisade costing a little bit of money. Furniture maker. Gives a tiny amount of cash. Uh, log bridge. Okay. Doesn't cost much money, but does give a bunch more science. Um, it was recommended. Okay, that's some cash. They recommended for me to build a barter post over here. Maybe needed to build a whole bunch of stuff. Um, do we care about any of this cheaper stuff? This folklore. A bone worker? I like the bone worker a lot. Why does the monument piss people off so much? I don't really get that. Um, anyways, our happiness is just wonderful right now. Uh, I'll take the butchery. Harems, I still don't care about. Drying frame, sure. Not seeing that much. A healer's hut. Uh, yeah, we'll want it eventually. It's not really something I'm that concerned with right now. None of those. Ah, flit napper. I'm actually making these stone men or javelineers anymore. Archers eventually, but meh. Dining hall is a decent amount of food. Jeweler is a lot of cash. All right, let's go jeweler. Um, I'm gonna make what was it? A s jeweler sentry post. Barter hut. Some production. It's quite a bit. Quite a bit. Trois maker. This doesn't really get that much. I think I'm quite happy with this as a starting. And that's going to be plenty of turns that we're going to go ahead and invest in that. Our obsidian axeman. Uh, you can just get that. And go ahead and fortify yourself. Boom! There's almost certainly no way that you can hear what this guy is saying. But we have tribes! So we can found new cities? Is that correct? I think that's what this tribe allows us to do, which is pretty crazy. Also gives us the landscape Monteverde. It's not bad, I guess. A totem pole. New archers receive plus three experience points. Is this because of, like, Mulan or something? Was she an archer? I don't know. A village hall. Oh, really? One free specialist. A little bit more expensive. Five local stability bonus per turn in each city is nice. We can now get malaria and scarlet fever if our disease is high enough. And there are crows. Um, I'm pretty sure that we're just going to get crows basically immediately. 
questioning obedience, promotion line, and tribal. Looks like we can change our government type. Let's see the big picture. Okay, it's not uh, actual government type. We're still in anarchism. Society will go from primitive to tribal. Okay, there's like a whole lot of stuff over here. It is going to cost quite a bit more money, I guess. Cities will require less to grow. Ah, uh, okay. So we have higher maintenance costs, but I think we just get a bigger bonus. Or I... Yeah. Less of a malice to uh, a number of things, right? Before we were getting minus 5% gold uh, in all cities. Now we're going to get minus 1%. As well as additional commerce. I mean, it's almost certainly worth it to do. So I'm just going to do it. Though, not going to do... Five turns for revolution now. Well, hello. We will do it anyways. And we've actually finished our construction queue over here. Which is kind of like an awkward timing. <laughs> because now I'm not really... We'll just go with knowledge inheritance, I guess. Get a little bit of education and uh, science. And then when that's done, then we're going to kind of come back and take a look at... Uh, and what we can actually build once once anarchy is done. Something really interesting, shamanism has been found in a distant land. Is that the first uh, religion? It might be. It very well might be. Nice, okay, so we've got our actual road connection over there. I'm not sure if that really makes a difference right now. Does it? Why are you worsening? Once anarchy is done, I think we're I know exactly what I'm gonna build. You just come over here. Which I'll be done next turn. So I'll let you finish the knowledge inheritance, that's fine. The government has been reestablished. We do have money. I guess I can pump up my science a little bit more. Uh, we'll make the trail. Wanna see this being finished? Um Another volcano is extinct, sure. All right, Beijing. The village hall, for sure. We need that stability. So just go right into it, please. And uh, we'll... It's probably worth uh, bumping up over here as well. Probably worth it. We'll just work on the village halls immediately. Apparently we have basically the same production. Okay, alright. Alright, so we're going to get the village halls up and ready next turn. So this should start to go down. I don't understand this financial trouble stuff. Like, is there a... Do I need to have a certain amount of income for it to not think that I'm in financial trouble? I don't really get it. But let's find out. Oh, okay, maybe it's next turn. Maybe it's the turn after. Nope, it's this one. Examine the city. I'll give him a bribe. Okay. <laughs> Alright, at least now there's not a problem. I'm fine spending a big chunk of cash on that. Um, and now we can look at, yeah, there's a lot of buildings that we can probably put down here. Um, sure. I'm probably just gonna just get basically everything. Well, not that. A little bit more money. Wild herbs. I guess I'll get the folklore of the sea. Um, we have a basket maker already. It's tempting. I guess that more food will be fine. I don't want the harems, the rope bridge, yeah. Elder council is good. Uh, disease and everything is great here, actually, in that regard. Um, our happiness is not as good. Hmm. I don't know this is super interesting. Hunter's camp. 
Yeah, sure. I'll take the Abatis. We do want to have a little bit of defense here. Uh, the Jeweler, it does turn into a lot of cash, right? So, I'll even get the Mask Carver over here. Um, the sentry post for more defense and a little bit of espionage is always, you know, it's just nice to have them. I'll just get one now. The barter post will be good eventually. Am I building a bridge? I'm building a rope bridge, but I'm pretty sure that this just replaces that. So, um, more defense. Yeah. I'll say it is also pretty solid. I think we're happy with this. Eventually, we're going to want to have cultures. I think this is a culture. Because we're only Neanderthal here. <laughs> I guess that's fine. That's going to take care of things for quite a long time. And I think we're going to put a cut into this episode. Um... Moving along quite nicely. They are catching up to us, in score at least, which uh, I'm pretty happy about. One thing I wanted to see... 41 turns to make a tribe. It might be it might be a good idea to put a city down just right here in between us. I think it would be relatively easy for us to defend as well. I mean, we would actually need to get a bunch more military units up, so... Maybe that's not entirely true, but maybe it's something to consider, right? Um, is there a mechanic in this game that wants you to not have a lot of cities? Maintenance costs, I think, is the only one. Like, it's, I don't think you have unhappiness from number of cities. I feel like that was introduced to Civilization V. Uh, but though, I mean, this just came into Cosmos, so who the hell knows? We'll think about that next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.